After last night's tense situation involving the rescue of several snowmobile riders from the Erie Canal, News 8 is looking deeper into safety precautions everyone should know before gearing up. Isabel Garcia joins us live from Gates with tips and resources from officials. Isabel. Yes, Teresa. New York State actually has a snowmobile unit which works closely with the Association of Snowmobilers. Now, there's safety guidelines online and other tips to always keep in mind. It's like driving on a road. You always have a risk of the ice being underneath that surface. And, um, you know, it's just very, you have to be very, very cautious and know the trails. So, you know, we just try to remind people, like, know the conditions, you know, and know the trails that you're riding on. I always tell my students, never ride on ice. That's always my rule of thumb when I'm teaching the course. Simple as that. And, you know, of course, the canal is one place they should have avoided totally. Following signage on New York State designated trails is also something riders should be utilizing. What people don't realize is that, you know, with the 10,500 miles of trails that we have, um, most of them are on private lands where the clubs work very hard to get landowner permissions. So when people, you know, don't really pay attention to, to the signs and they don't stay on the trails and then they cut across somebody's property, you know, a lot of times it puts it puts the entire trail in jeopardy. Helmet, jacket, gloves. Uh, there is a tether on the uh, snowmobile. Wear that so that way if you fall off your sled, it shuts off. Uh, have a ride plan. Tell people when you're leaving, when you plan on coming back, where you plan on riding. Something else to be aware of, conditions. Sunday's rescue happened just before 4 p.m. when the sun was setting and temperatures began to drop. Anytime somebody goes in the water, cold water, uh, with an ice condition, there's always a chance that um, you know the, their ability to get out is, is, is not going to be there. So from a rescue standpoint, from a, uh, a, a life safety standpoint, it was a serious situation. You just go out there, be safe, to be, you know, be respectful, and um, you know, help the sport uh, thrive and survive. And those state safety courses can be found online, and they're free and open to everyone, even as young as 10. We'll put direct links for those safety courses in this article on our website at rochesterfirst.com. For now, reporting live in Gates, I'm Isabel Garcia with News 8. Thanks, Isabel. And the Gates Fire Chief, Ubel, tells us the first person rescued last night with the most serious injuries remains in a hospital today.